is being recorded. Okay, Kuna, let's proceed ahead with your uh, SNAP mock for fluid mechanics in chemical engineering. And you are from uh, uh, chemical engineering, and we started for fluid mechanics, right? Yes, sir. BRC. Okay. Can we call every fluid as a chemical? Can we call every fluid as a chemical? How do you, yes, how do you say this is a chemical or this is not a chemical? Sir, uh, like everything is a chemical, sir. Because can I say uh, water is a chemical? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you sure about that? Yeah, yeah, sure, sir. Or chemical because, should have a chemical reaction also. Uh, sir, anything can react under certain conditions provided to the material, and it and it is composed of uh, the elements uh, and their interactions. They they form the compounds. So everything uh, combined together forms a chemical. So every substance in our day to day life also comes into uh, fall under the chemical category because they are react they are reactive in uh, in the environment provided to them. Let it be high high pressure. Let it be very very high temperature. Let it be along with some other, some other, some another another substance which is very very highly unstable. So they will react. Tell me the reaction of water. Reaction of water with with anything. Chemical reaction of water. Okay, chemical reaction of water. Uh, okay. Sir, so water getting dissociated into hydrogen and oxygen. This can be one of the reactions. Water dissociating into hydrogen and oxygen. Yeah. This can be one of the reactions. Then hydrogen. But how do you get that? How do you get this dissociation? Uh, sir, mainly uh, there are methods. Uh, I know about uh, electrolysis. Yeah. About the, so that is electrolysis process. This is not a chemical reaction. Electrolysis. Technically speaking, you cannot say this is a chemical reaction, right? It's the electrolysis process. Electrolysis process. Uh, so, but you know, if I mix water with milk, mm -hmm. it cannot be called reaction. It is called mixing. Mixing. If I mix water with sulfuric acid, it may be called chemical reaction. So what water. separates? Yeah. Sir. Uh, yeah, yeah, sir. So uh, wherein we have the chemical transformation taking place, we can call them as a chemical reaction. Mm -hmm. Wherever there is a physical transformation that that we have just said, like what uh, happened, mixing hurry hai, there is a, there is just a ch change of a physical state. But uh, where where there is a chemical change that is happening, that is taking place, so uh, the reaction for that change, causing that change, can be called as a chemical reaction. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, is there any relation, Kunal, between uh, viscosity of a fluid and its uh, calorific value? Viscosity of the fluid and its caloric value. Viscosity of the fluid and its caloric value. Okay. Viscosity of the fluid and its caloric value. Viscosity of the fluid and its caloric value. Mm, high density fluid. High density fluid. Maybe we have density. Can also be viscosity. Ka. Sir, I think it's no. There's no relation. There is no relation. Sir, do you know what is calorific value? Uh, sir, calorific value is the amount of the heat uh, that a fuel. Or anything that is burning can provide per gram of that fuel consumed, or per per weight of that fuel consumed depends upon what what the reference you are taking. Let it does it not depend upon intermolecular attraction or intermolecular bonding or something? So so density or uh, density uh, encompasses this thing. No, hmm. we are having density for that thing. But here here there is a uh, there is a concept of uh, stress. There is a concept of uh, the layer moving moving around and. Uh, Actually, by viscosity, what I understand is uh, the fluid has uh, its own inertia to oppose its own motion uh, when it flows under certain, you know, uh, when it flows under certain application of force. Mm. 
so that's the viscosity but here we are talking about the heat here we are talking about the chemical change here we are talking about the amount of the energy released due to that change so viscosity is not directly related to it not 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 at all related to it because we are having density for that thing which uh, which are like you know uh, yeah sorry okay so you know what is bulk modulus uh yes sir bulk modulus please write it in terms of uh, volumetric strain and density strain volumetric strain and density strain okay sir Sir. Okay. So now tell me, uh, out of uh, solids, liquids, and gases, which has maximum bulk modulus? Out of solids, liquids, and gases, which has maximum bulk modulus? Gases will have the least. Gases will have the least, and uh, um, with the bulk modulus, gases will have the least. Mm. Okay. When we talk about solids, what is my density change? What is my density change? There is no density change. So pressure lagaa the density change. Ho. Liquid and pressure lagaa the density change. होता है सॉलिड में डेंसिटी चेंज नहीं होगा प्रेशर के साथ सर आई थिंक आफ्टर दैट आफ्टर गैसेस विल बी हैविंग लिक्विड्स एंड देन सॉलिड्स टेल मी अगेन आफ्टर गैसेस सर विल बी हैविंग लिटरेचर में पहले हाईएस्ट लिटरेचर में लिक्विड को कहां है बाद में सॉलिड को कहां है बाद में गैसेस को कहां है बट रीजन लिक्विड को हाईएस्ट बोला हुआ है वहां पे सर लिक्विड इज हाईएस्ट देन सॉलिड्स एंड गैसेस बल्क मॉडल में या वंस अगेन सर लिक्विड इज हाईएस्ट देन सॉलिड्स एंड गैसेस व्हाई लिक्विड इज हाईएस्ट नो एक्सप्लेन दैट आल्सो या सो टॉक अबाउट लिक्विड्स प्रेशर लगा उसने फिर चेंज इन डेंसिटी हुई प्रेशर लगा दिया सर जस्ट टू मिनट्स प्रेशर लगाने फोर्स अगर लगा दी मैंने तो डीपी इज इक्वल्स टू फोर्स यहां दिखाना सॉलिड में जब मैंने प्रेशर लगा दी तो वो एक पर्टिकुलर इससे स्विच पॉइंट टेल्ट हो रहा है डेंसिटी चेंज हो रही है क्या उसके फोर्स लगा दिया डेंसिटी चेंज नहीं हो रही है कंप्रेशन लगा दिया हमने ओके अह Sir, in the liquids, uh, there is molecular collision. When we are applying the force on the liquids, the molecules will oppose the applied pressure. While in the solids, when we apply the force, they are fixed; they are not resisting the force. So when not resisting the force, why? Sir, uh, because there are no collisions. I am just talking about the collision fronts. they are having their own hardness their own material properties and all but uh, here the they are moving they are having the collision they are having their own pressure 
and here we are applying the uh, we are applying the force there is no collision uh, inside they are all fixed so when we apply the force they will uh, what we can say mm, they will change their shape uh, there will be change in their volume but in the liquids it is difficult to make that change in the volume of the liquid you will be needing very very high pressure for causing very slight change in the liquid so that's why the bulk modulus of liquid must be higher when uh, here we are talking about the density change uh, but it is equivalent to the uh, i am working with the volume change now so volume of uh, that change can be uh, easily done in the solids uh, when when we compare to the liquid okay now kunal rephrase once again this particular thing which you said why the bulk modulus of liquid is higher than solid rephrase it once again okay so so uh, when we are applying the pressure on liquid it is having the intermolecular collisions and the collisions will happen on against that particular force also that what we are applying now let me let me ask you pressure is because of intermolecular collision it is not yeah. the reverse pressure is because of yeah. intermolecular collision yeah. not vice versa yes yes so as per you pressure we applied and then it is leading to intermolecular collision eventually it no, is not based it is it is having the, the the intermolecular collision initially okay yeah so when we are applying the force this intermolecular collision is there and that will oppose this applied force okay yeah while in solids it is easy to change its volume with certain uh, with certain application of force we, we can easily make the change in the volume of the solid while mm -hmm. it is difficult for uh, while it is difficult Uh, with the same force to make the change in the liquid mm -hmm. either be uh, either let it be the compressible or let it be uh, what we can say expand expandable because there the molecules we are having they are holding the fixed position here here we are having the collision plus there is a molecular force of attraction also any idea that, what is the bulk modulus of water what is the bulk modulus of water bulk modulus of water okay Mm, just five percent then comes out to be ten power ten something sir. Ten power ten me aata hai. One point five. Huh? How did you get that? Uh, sir, I've read it in the literature. Mm. Yeah. Okay, Kunal. Let me give you the feedback of this part. उसके ब्रेक हो सकते हैं बॉन्ड लिक्विड में ऐसा नहीं होता लिक्विड के बॉन्ड को तुम ब्रेक नहीं कर सकते मास कंप्रेस करना पड़ता है Yes, sir. the concept of uh, you know mass compression in liquid instead of localized compression, and because okay. of that mass compression, they you need to apply very high uh, you know pressure per yeah. unit volumetric strain. Yeah. So that is the reason uh, these liquids yes, are more incompressible. Yeah. So go for that, and अभी उसको एक बार दोबारे से revise करो आपने marathon को revise नहीं किया मेरे को लगता है strength of material के सर मैंने देखा ही नहीं वाला स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटेरियल का सॉरी इसका फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स बोल रहा हूं मैं स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स का पढ़ा भी है उसके नोट्स ही बनाए हैं उसमें ये वाला पॉइंट है जो आपने कहा है है ये तो आपने मिस कैसे कर दिए फिर ये होता क्या है होता क्या है कि वहां पे जो मैंने मैराथन आपको दिया है ना उसको चार पांच बार सुनो उसमें से बेसिक आंसर निकल जाता है एंड यू नेवर नो व्हाट थिंग हेल्प्स यू इन द इंटरव्यू ओके वी आर सी वेयर के इंटरव्यू के लिए जा रहे हो तो यू कैन नॉट टेक एनीथिंग ग्रांटेड यू नीड टू बी वेरी मेटिकुलस इन दैट so yeah. prepare that really well so that you can convert that sure right? so usko acche tarike se revision karo so that we can convert that into that okay okay, okay.